Hey peeps! So today I really want to chat to you guys about the ingredients in products. So a lot of people have been asking me like what other products do I use for my skincare, for my makeup, for my hair care, for body wash, all these sorts of things. Like what do I actually use um, that don't include animal products? So I use all vegan products. Um, and it can be confusing, right? There's so many different products out there on all the markets and it's so difficult to, well, unless you know what you're looking for, to think, what do I do? What do I use? Help me. So that's what I'm gonna do. This is one of the shampoos I use. I'm gonna use it as an example. Um, I really love this brand, Faith in Nature just because they're so open and transparent about what they use in their ingredients. So when we're coming back to nature and using more natural products, you can make your own. There's some books out there. There's videos out there, YouTube videos, everything, whatever. You can use them um, and try making your own if you want. But if you don't have that much time on your hands <laughs> or inclination to do that, then there are still products like this that you can go out and buy um, that don't have such a harsh impact on the environment or to an animal's life. Um, so you wanna look for some symbols, like this one here has vegan, so you know there are no animal products in this. And cruelty free with the little bunny there shows that it wasn't tested on animals. Really important. Um, there's a bunch of information that you can find out about all this if you look into it more. I'm just going to show you the products um, and kind of what to look for in this respect. But if you want to look more into like the harmful effects of animal testing and animal byproducts and why they're just not necessary for us anymore, um, of course, go and do your own research on that. So, yeah, I'd look for those two symbols. This is also made in the UK, so we know it's more localised and not using as many air miles to get to me. Which is cool, which is nice. A lot of these places as well, there's natural health shops, there's one in the town that I live, that you can just go and refill these bottles as well. So you, you're not wasting the plastic, you can just keep on using it again by refilling it and going to your local refill station. If you Google it, there's probably something near you too. Um, I believe there's a lot of high street main brands as well um, that are cruelty free. I know Superdrug, all of their own brand stuff is cruelty free, not tested on animals, so that's really great. Um, but something else to keep in mind is the ingredients. This is what I do for food, um, for any products that I use, always go to the back first and look at ingredients. Now this is like the most confusing thing sometimes because <laughs> You get big long lists of ingredients and do they really make sense to a lot of us? Like some of the words they use, do you even understand it? Uh, I don't, certainly. But that's kind of a rule that I use. So if I don't really understand a whole word and they're all in Latin or whatever it is and they're just like long technical chemical type words, it's probably not something that you want to be putting into your body. Again, if you want to go in and you want to actually research it, just type into Google the name and see if it has any side effects or anything like that. Go and do it, go and see what it is. But as a quick and general rule, if we don't want to spend ages in the supermarket trying to <laughs> scroll through all the list of ingredients, um, like this one, for example, hack, major life hack. In brackets, it has the English of what it is. So it shows it's an open and transparent company that isn't trying to hide anything. It's literally telling you what's in it. So like water, sea salt, lavender oil, geranium, tea tree, it's plant derived, and there's water from the lake district. Like it's not trying to hide anything. It's telling me exactly what is in the product that I'm using. So may, imagine if I did have a reaction or something to it. I would know what that is, but so many people don't do that, so many companies don't do that. Um, and they just, I think they hide a lot of things in there 
because we're then we're not going to look into it we're not going to understand it and it's really important because it's what we're putting on our bodies and what we're putting on the outside is absorbing into our skin into our bloodstream and these things can create chemical reactions um all sorts of skin issues so yeah look at these by the way i'm flashing around this brand i'm not affiliated to it in any way i just use it on a daily basis i just love it yeah <laughs> raw honest good brand um so yeah i have a whole different range of makeup that i use i don't have one particular brand um just over the years i found ones that resonate with me that i like <laughs> that i like to wear so i just keep having them um so a few of them are the doctor organic lip balms i love them the vanilla one is just, I love it, it's amazing, it's the yellow top one. Uh, I get that from Holland and Barrett. Also TK Maxx, they do a whole random selection of things, it's not always in there. But there is a brand in there called Very Vegan. Um, and that you can get blonde, blah, I never get my words out right, do I? <laughs> Bronzers, blushes, those sorts of things. Um, lipsticks, sometimes like when I'm flying, I wear red lipstick or pink lipstick and they're from there. Uh, for nails, mine are kind of having a shocking break at the moment. Um, but for that I use Benacos, they have some really nice nail polishes. And I'm still working on finding, uh, I found more of a natural gel nail polish, but it's still not vegan, so... I'm still on my search to just get one of them easy that I can order online and that's that. So yeah, and by the way guys, with ingredients labels for food as well, one of my top tips in the supermarket, if I want to know something's vegan, pick up something veggie, if it's vegetarian, flip it to the back to the ingredients and all the allergens will be highlighted in bold. So if it's vegetarian and you turn it to the back and there it's highlighted egg or highlight, oh, <laughs> highlighted uh, dairy, if there's milk in it, um, it will be highlighted and it will be easy to see. That will not be vegan. So you don't have any animal products in that. So turn it to the back, veggie, nothing like that. If it's just got soya highlighted, something like that, that's fine and you're good to go. So yeah, I hope those tips helped. Um, just stick to something that's more naturally plant derived as possible. And also if you do find some vegan brands um, that do have these big long chemical lists, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're better. It just means that they're probably not tested on animals. Um, I do have a few, uh, it's a vegan conditioner that I got, but the company that produces it, it's also it's there for the profit basically <laughs> it still has a load of chemical things in it that I don't necessarily feel happy with using on my body so I don't use it so I stick to these and help local companies that are actually out there to try and make a difference so <laughs> um, enjoy that guys and please post in the comments if you have any of your own recommendations that you use that you love share it with everyone um, I would also love to know what you get on with. Um, and yeah, it'll be amazing. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you soon.